The le. Um, <laughs> we're supposed to be talking about seafood. Okay. <laughs> seafood can be an aphrodisiac, though. <laughs> yeah. On today's episode of Live Lean TV, we're sharing two delicious and healthy seafood and fish recipes for dinner. But before we share these quick and easy fish recipes, do us a huge solid and tap that like button down below. This simple action tells the YouTube algorithm to send our videos out to more people so we can help them live lean 365 days a year. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed, please tap that red subscribe button down below with notifications turned on. So with all that said, let's get into it. Um, Margaret Namias from Twitter asked, do you eat fish and shellfish? If so, what do you recommend? We do eat fish and salt, shellfish. Shellfish. Shell, shell, shellfish? <laughs> um, yeah, I like, remember that soup you made that was like gains of the sea? Yes. What was it called? Protein gains of Protein the sea? Protein gains of the that sea. Was so it had, good. Like, it had mussels in everything it, in it, clams, like all kinds of stuff. Here's an edited down version of the step-by-step -step cooking video recipe, seafood chowder gains that you'll find on our teamlivelean.com member site. <laughs> Damn, that's good. We're making a seafood chowder today. We have a mixture here of mussels and clams. We have some scallops, cod, chopped onion, chopped fennel right here, some chopped garlic. We're gonna use a little bit of coconut oil to make some of the sauce. Obviously salt and pepper. We have some low sodium chicken broth, some dried white wine, and then some tomato to add to that broth as well. About a tablespoon or so of coconut oil. The onion, the fennel, the onions and fennel are getting sauteed. We're gonna add in a half a cup of white wine. Add in garlic. About a cup of this chicken broth. The diced tomatoes with the juice in it. And once it starts to heat up, maybe about five minutes or so, then we'll add in the seafood. So let's add in the mussels and clams. Cover that guy, the cod, and some of these scallops. Stir this up as well. Add some salt, some black pepper. Add a little bit of parsley. That right there should be on the cover of a magazine, you know what I'm saying? Wow, taste buds are rocking out right now. Damn, that's good! Damn, that's good! Also, I love the halibut recipe. Yeah, that was a good one too. Are you so into me? <laughs> yeah. Aww. If you're listening on the podcast, I'm like looking deeply into my wife's eyes yeah, right now. He's giving me the look. <laughs> <laughs> the look. Um, <laughs> look. We're supposed to be talking about seafood. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, so seafood can be an aphrodisiac, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Like, what is it? Oysters? Oysters. Are, yeah, oysters are good. Here's an edited down version of the step by step cooking video recipe called Easy But Fancy Halibut Over Kali Rice. You can find the full step by step cooking video recipe exclusively on teamoflean.com. Damn, that's good. Sauteed halibut over cauliflower rice. This is one shallot. I have one clove of garlic, about a quarter cup of white wine, fresh parsley, fresh lemon, some salt, pepper, chicken broth, coconut oil. Heat a tablespoon of coconut oil. Just kind of pat it dry, get any of the excess water off. Give it a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna put another full tablespoon of this my shallots and my garlic. And add the cauliflower rice right away. This is stir, incorporate all the flavors. Don't forget to keep stirring your rice just so it, it cooks evenly. Our next step is to add these shallots, a quarter cup, the white wine, about two to three minutes, and then it's time to flippity flop it. Then we're gonna remove the skin. A tablespoon of the coconut oil. This is giving some creaminess to our sauce. So just put it right on top of the fishies, about a quarter cup chicken broth, which add the parsley. So we'll give this about another two minutes. Make a little bed for it there. Pour it over the top of the fish like this. Squeeze of the lemon. Your family is gonna be like, where do you get your cooking skills? And you'll be like, I'm on Team Live Lean. Damn, that's good. Damn, that's good. I hated seafood when I was a kid, but now I love it. Yeah. And I do consider it to be very healthy and it's a good source of protein. Yeah, I'm a big fan of pretty much anything. Lobster has always been just delicious. Just we always have it at his mom's Christmas house. Eve is okay. always when we have it. And fish, yeah, I love salmon, like wild fish because the farmed fish can 
get a little nasty. <laughs> yeah, um, we, so we would prefer wild fish. Always try to look for wild fish when you can. Um, but salmon is great. I love smoked salmon as well. Yeah, we have some good recipes with smoked salmon. Some Those tuna. crackers. Like, tuna is yeah. delicious. So yeah, we love, we love it all. We recommend it all. But if you are going to have it, go yes. with a wild well, yeah, a lot fish. of times you can find the wild stuff in the frozen section yeah. if you can't find it in like the regular A lot of times the, f the fresh sections don't have yeah. fresh salmon anyway. It's too, I or, know, it's too bad. Or wild. Wild yeah, salmon wild is hard. And if you do find it at like Whole Foods or something, mm. it's freaking expensive. Yeah. Got to pay for the good stuff. Yeah, but it is delicious. Now, if you don't eat a lot of fatty fish like wild salmon, I highly recommend you supplement with a high quality omega-3 fish oil or krill oil. I love this delicious lemon flavored fish oil from Nordic Naturals. I've added an Amazon link in the description below, or if you prefer krill oil, I have also supplemented with this krill oil from Onnit. Check out the link down below. Question of the day, what is your favorite type of fish or seafood? Share your experiences in the comment section below. Now I want you to go watch this video right over here on the best foods high in omega-3 fatty acids.